You guys remember me from the better than nothing beta days, the early days of Starlink, and it's becoming clear that the world is becoming more and more dependent on Starlink. We have some big developments that I'd like to share with you in this video. We learned that Maersk will be deploying Starlink's high-speed internet on their fleet of over 330 container vessels. And the rollout is expected to be completed in Q1 of 2024. Maersk is a global leader of integrated container logistics, and now they're partnering with Starlink, the satellite internet constellation developed by SpaceX. Maersk will now have Starlink installed on their over 330 owner-operated container vessels. This will enable high-speed internet with speeds over 200 megabits per second. And this is a huge leap forward in terms of internet speed and latency, and this will bring significant benefits in terms of both crew welfare and business impact. And this comes after a pilot program or a test phase where crews on 30 Maersk vessels had the opportunity to test out Starlink. They had very positive feedback and now they're going to use it on their entire fleet. Now, of course, they'll have benefits from high speed internet resulting in seamless streaming and high definition video calls for crew members. High speed, low latency internet will also facilitate cost saving measures by moving business critical applications into the cloud and by strengthening remote support and inspections of the vessels. As we know, Starlink has been changing the game to provide reliable internet across the globe with its high-speed network. Starlink, of course, aims to serve rural and underserved populations, no matter what geography you're in, and now it will help the challenges of staying connected on the high seas of the world. And SpaceX has also launched a direct-to-sell website page. Starlink satellites with direct-to-sell capabilities will enable ubiquitous access to texting, calling, and browsing wherever you may be on land, lakes, or even coastal waters. And this will just be limited to texting in 2024. That's when it will start. In 2025, you'll start to see voice and data. And also starting in 2025, these direct-to-sell satellites will initially be launched on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and then on Starship. On orbit, the satellites will immediately connect over laser backhaul to the Starlink constellation to provide global connectivity. So those are just some new Starlink updates. Of course, if you use Starlink, I don't have to tell you how beneficial it is. I know many people that use it for their RVs, they use it to camp, to travel the world, or they're just using it in an area that they live that they don't have good service. So it's been amazing to see the rollout of Starlink and how it's not just helping residential customers, but it's really helping everyone all over the world and soon, you'll even be able to access it via your cell phone, which will just make a huge difference. This is a little bit off topic, but I've been binge watching I Shouldn't Be Alive. It's this TV show where you hear these crazy stories of people that get stranded in almost unsurvivable situations. Really, they shouldn't be alive. And, you know, these are based in early 2000s where there was no such thing as Starlink. And so I just think, man, if these people could have had connectivity, uh, maybe, maybe their situations wouldn't have been as dire. So it's just really nice that now we have Starlink not only benefiting, you know, your home internet, but if you are, for example, an adventurer and you like to go places historically with no cell service, which, you know, may be great in theory, but if something goes wrong, you want to stay connected. And so it's really great that we're going to have that opportunity available to more and more people as we see Starlink improve and continue to roll out. Obviously, they have over 5,000 active satellites, but that constellation is just going to grow to probably at least over 40,000 satellites. So I hope that you enjoyed that Starlink update. If you liked it, please make sure to share this video and support the Alien Space channel. I really appreciate everyone who supports the channel as this is my full-time job and I am an independent creator and journalist. So thank you so much if you've made it to the end and I'll see you in the next video.